This is an A-17 dive bomber. Um, we, we just, <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, Roger. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, an A-17 dive bomber. The whole world was enamored of the idea of dive bombing in the late 30s up to about 1940. Uh, particularly because the Spaniards had, or the, the Germans had used dive bombing to great success in Spain. The problem was is nobody was thinking about the fact that the Spaniards really weren't terribly adept at shooting, you know, at basically shooting at the aircraft. So when it finally came down to analyzing about dive bombing, um, dive bombing over sea is a wonderful idea. Over land, you are a sitting target for the enemy. If the enemy has any ability to shoot up at all, you are sitting duck. So it came and went very quickly over land. Uh, having said that, however, the A-17 doesn't have much of a military history, but the A-17 is an interesting airplane for um, another reason. Um, this is it's a Jack Northrop design aircraft, and this is one of the sturdiest last forever aircraft built in the 1930s. We were looking to do that because in the 1930s we were never going to war again, so what we built we were going to last, it's going to have to last as for as long as possible. Um, and this plane fulfills that. What is original on this aircraft is the engine, the fuselage, the tail, and the wing sections out to the brake and the gear, okay? That's all original. The wings and the rest of it, anything else, are from blueprints built new. This fuselage, I said it's all original skin. There was no replacement skin on that. And this proves it's sturdy lasts forever. This aircraft sat outside for more than 50 years and not in some place dry, like Arizona or Nevada. This was in an orchard in Georgia. And that skin is so thick that we could polish it up without putting holes in it, which is often very difficult to do sometimes. So really sturdy last